tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hello. You might wonder, is this a polygon surface or a NURB surface? Actually, you might tend to saying it's a polygon surface because these objects are sticking out in the upper third. But actually, it's a mixture between a polygon and a NURBS surface. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate to you. It's kind of trivial, but uh, for modeling, it's quite interesting. So here is the view in the viewport with uh, the key seven, we see a light, the lighting effect here. And from this side, you see actually in the preview that we have uh, curves here. It's just the beauty of a NURBS surface. This curve here, which is the basic revolve curve. And now you see the middle part does odd things, but that's quite interesting as well, actually. You might actually try to focus on that because of construction history we have um, all the surfaces are sort of uh, linked together although this one is a polygon surface you cannot create these parts sticking out that sharply with a NURBS surface so all the rest one two these two are NURBS surfaces and this is a polygon surface the basic procedure goes like this and I want to show you a really simple way to do it. I create a circle and I duplicate it with Control D and I move that second circle up and I scale it a little bit down. Actually, Alt B gives me a brighter background color. So I have two of them and now I uh, actually I duplicate it again with Shift D that makes it even smaller and I can rotate it now. Shift D is a nice command really and I did a tutorial about it because it's so sweet. Now I pick this one, that one and that one and under curves and surfaces the blue icons I find the loft. And this is the surface I get. This is a NURB surface, uh, wonderful in terms of topology and now I select this upper curve. It's this one and I duplicate it yet again and I move it up and I make it a little bit smaller and rotate it maybe a little bit like this and now I select the, the top one and the very top one, the one which I just duplicated and create yet another loft. And you see they both stick together, they look like one surface now. You see these lines, they are the curves but basically uh, this um, is just another loft, a NURB surface. Now I want to convert this to polygons in order to make modifications pulling out certain parts here. And uh, in order to do this properly you need sort of a triangle or a quad look to that NURB surface. And when you uh, select the tab loft here you see section spans. Currently they set to 1, that's the default, but when you raise this number you can actually create sort of square parts here, patches. They will become faces once we convert them and that's exactly what we're going to do now. We go to modify and we convert NURBS to polygons. That's the top entry here and we need the option box because in the default settings, reset the settings, uh, the conversion will go end up with triangles and since we have quads here no triangles at all we want quads so that that keeps most parts of the nerve surface so we apply it and close it now we can hide the nerve surface H and we have the same surface it looks the same but now it's a polygon surface and now we can of course go to for example faces and pick couple of faces here and create an extrude that's under polygon modeling and it's right here this icon gives you the extrude and we want to extrude it outside like this well 
we're mixing polygons with NURBS. And that's all I wanted to show you. There's nothing which holds you up mixing these two topologies. And if you want to know more about NURBS modeling in depth, I created a 12-part course which is published under the domain skillshare.com or udemy.com where you get an in-depth view of the whole NURBS topology for industrial design, for example, but also for animation. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Mm.